Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. I say guys, I'm being very optimistic that I have more than one person out there. Oh, I do. Again, always relief. So I'm on my sort of hands-free mic right now, but as soon as I get ready to just, you know, when I'm done, I have my makeup left. I wasn't about to do a full face get ready with me. <laughs> Plus my day has been well underway by now. Been to, uh, took my husband to a doctor's appointment. Uh, just, this is what I looked like. It wasn't, didn't have enough time really to do anything else. So I just have my eyes to do, freshen up my lips, maybe, I don't know. And then we will go full on into a regular live. I, I want to know what you're streaming. I have some things to share with you, what I've been watching. We're going to do our, we're going to drop the queue and have a live Q&A. Uh, but the very sort of drum roll thing that I really kind of wanted to talk about, for those of you who join me live, I feel like you get special access, you know? I mean, a lot of people will have special I don't know. I've seen a lot of the YouTubers that I watch that tend to go live a lot. They're not in the beauty industry. Funny enough, you know, I really don't watch a ton of beauty channels. And I think I do that really because I don't want to be influenced or anything like that. So I have a couple favorites that I do, but for the most part, most of my YouTube watching really isn't beauty related. But they'll do like subscriptions where you have to pay a little bit to have access to other special videos. I, mean, I don't do that. So I feel like if you join me live, you get to you get to see sort of sneak peeks, you know, and I'm going to be recording this video on these really awesome kind of game changer ways to secure your wigs. Um, and I have prolonged recording this video, which I'm going to record after we go live. I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty, pretty long live. I think probably should grab something to possibly eat and drink uh, and kick back for a while. I hope you can stick with us. But because after I sort of talk about this, I am going to share with you some of these options that I found. It started with one. And when I make the actual video, because it's going to be a non-live video, it's going to be its own thing, sharing these with you guys. And um, I will then tell you, actually, the viewer that brought this to my attention. And I have not yet tried to find her name, but I am. I am definitely going to do it or I'm, I'm just going to do it before I record that video because I'm so grateful because it sort of led me on this path of really trying to find other similar things because it didn't work quite for what I needed it for. But anyway, we're going to get to that. I promise we are going to get to that. Um, and I'm super excited about it, really, truly, because, you know, for those of you that are like me, and you just can't handle a, a, a lot of things underneath your wig. The wig alone is enough, really, for you to deal with. And there are just other people that aren't like that. They can do the wig socks, the wig grips, and all of that, and they're good. But I am not, unfortunately, one of those people. And I know there are several of you out there that, that really struggle with that as well. So I go for my it stays, you know, and I do a low pony in the back and do the it stays in the front and that's good. But these days, these days, I don't tend to wear my wig all day. I do sometimes if I just want to feel presentable and made up. I do feel better when I do that, but it's mostly, you know, a wig grip. I'll record videos, do things like this, go live. If I need to run out and do something, which is not very often these days, then, you know, I'll, I'll stick it on a wig grip and deal with it but it really does bother me and i'll go into that a little bit later of kind of specific reasons why the wig grip does bother me um and so then i go to the it stays but i really do it stays if i know that wig is going to be on my head for several hours because it is sort of a commitment you know and if you take your wig off you do have to sort of deal with taking it off your hair which is no big deal actually it doesn't take much time it's water soluble but it is kind of an end of the day for thing for me you know i'll do that my hair's sort of wet in the front area and I'll stick a square band headband on for the rest of the night. So having this as an option that is comfortable and sort of for the most part eliminates some of that stuff that I can't deal with when I wear a wig grip is huge for me. It is really an amazing thing. 
So that's a little teaser. I don't have my headphones on, so I'm going to hope that this is <laughs> laughter. And then I'll even do... Oh, this is a shot in the dark. No. That. Uh, so anyway, first got to get ready. I got to get ready for that particular video and for the rest of our life. You know, I want to look and feel my best for myself and you. So first of all, I'm going to slip on my glasses. If you find me a little out of sorts, I am, I have to say. I don't want to go into it, really. My husband's a private person person he doesn't have any he's not on social media like literally he is off the grid but it's up to him what he decides he wants to tell friends or family which is very little if nothing so I really you know have to leave it up to him just suffice it to say this has been a really stressful last few weeks couple weeks um and particularly this today and yesterday it has all hit me and I am shaky. I'm I'm just uh, out of sorts. <laughs> so bear with me. I'm fine. I'm really fine. It's just uh, my body is is just like held on, and now it's just kind of letting go in some ways. Let me say hi to you guys, though. Christine, I saw you first, front and center. Um, hello, <laughs> and I see Nadine. Hi, Nadine. So nice to see you again this week. I am so thrilled you guys caught this. This was, I gave 20 minutes, a 20 minute notice and that was it. And the main reason why I'm doing this actually today and combining sort of this special access to, to this video I'm gonna be recording and an actual live where we're gonna have some fun as well today is because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do my Friday live this week. It's for a much happier reason. It's because uh, my daughter's coming up from Oregon to celebrate her 30th birthday with us and her husband. So um, we are going to be doing Friday and Saturday with that. And uh, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it later this week. But you you have this and I love doing lives. This is a, a wonderful de-stressor for me. Hi, Sherry. So nice to see you. I see Lori. Sorry, I have my laptop really off to the side because I'm gonna put my mirror here so I can finish up getting my my makeup on. So I, I really gotta look to the side here. Um, I see Bam McGee, hello. I don't think I've, I recognize your name, so you may be new. Um, I see BVD, oh, BV Dragon Lady, love that. I don't believe I recognize that handle either. Stacy, hello Stacy. woot woot. Hi all, CM, hello, I see Christine. Oh, thank you, Christine. I would have probably forgotten. This is Pretty Please by Raquel Welch in the color shade of Biscuit. Uh, this, was my, this is my newest wig chat, if you haven't caught it. Um, it's not far in at all in my uploads because it's, I think, the most recent last upload that I did, I think, right? Um, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Lori Sullivan, thank you. This is gorgeous. Um, let's see. I see Lynn, Michelle, hi. Uh, yes, it is Raquel Welch, good guess. Sandy Ludlow, hello. So from does that, South Africa. Wow, I gotta do that. Amazing. That's so cool. Danielle McDonald, hello. Uh, it is gorgeous, this hair, I have to say. I wore this all day what, what was the reason i wore this all day oh we had a virtual baby shower uh my niece and uh so my middle daughter came over she's only 20 minutes away and we both you know in, participated in this really fun virtual baby shower and this is the hair that i wore for that <laughs> i mean you got to take every chance these days you know to get dressed up um, and then, hey, hi, hi, Vicki, so great. Always great to see you, Vicki. Lori Sample, nice to see you again. I have Kelly Sign Shields, hello. Daniel McDonald, that, I saw you. Um, Daphne Terry, Terry, either way, hello. Uh, let's see, AJ Rowe, hi, hello. Nancy, nice to see you again, Nancy. Um, I know, I, I'm, tell you that breaking point pretty close uh, this is helpful you have no idea uh, I'll, I'll talk maybe a little bit about that in a bit I don't know um, 
again, a little off today, guys, a little off. You might find my brain jumping and not, we'll see how this goes today. Uh, let me see. Oh, Jolen, 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 I bet. Nice, dis beautiful name. Hello. Orit1234 from Israel. No way. Wow. Amazing. Oh, no. Don't have the headphones on. I think that's the sound I want. I will be putting those dang headphones on at some point. I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm When we go live, I'm switching mics and I'm going to bring my sort of podcast mic in just because I love the way that one sounds. <laughs> and uh, I'm, all, you know, I'm, I am pretty into that. Um, let's see. The Aurora Borealis 4 Name of Wig. This is Pretty Please by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit, just in case you missed it earlier. I'm expecting, hopefully, people coming on in any given time. So I don't feel bad repeating myself when it comes to stuff like that at all. Uh, Janet, love you too. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm trying to catch names that maybe I haven't seen. Uh, Nola, uh, Kitty, I have not said hi to you yet. Oh, and you are so welcome. If you guys get any help from anything that I put up here on my YouTube channel, it makes my day and it, it just, it really does. I, I love hearing that uh, because otherwise I would not have any any idea. Uh, hello, P. Is it Gaberti? Oh my gosh, every time. Please correct me. Is it Gaberti with a G, like a J or Gaberti? I hope one of those is right. And hello again. Let's see. Kathy Renault Gomez. I do too. I love this wig. Uh, Jillian. Hello. <laughs> You are gorgeous too. Um, let's see, I, I'm seeing if I see any, Paula Power, I don't believe I've said hi to you yet, Paula. Uh, let's see, Armida, Armida, hello from Texas. Well, hello there. Uh, did I miss anybody? Carolyn Preston, hello. Did I miss anybody, you guys? I hope not. I'll, I'll try to recognize new names as they pop on. AJ, did I say hello to you? Um, I will try my best. I love recognizing you all out there. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. Lynn, Lynn, Lori Sullivan. Lynn, I don't think I said hi to you. I'm just trying to scroll back and see if I've missed anyone because they come up sometimes out of order, I've noticed, because it pulls it from YouTube to Ecamm here. And every now and then I will see that it has popped something up in the feed, in the live chat, and I don't know why it does that. Okay. I'm just scrolling down. You did, Paula. I have to put this up here. I have to put this up. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I think, oh, hold on. You guys are popping up quicker than I can grab you. Let me see if I can get this up. Go on. Go on. Here we go. No. Gonna do this. There we go. Paula ordered her first wig. Congratulations, Paula. You've done it. You've jumped in and I uh, bet you're excited. Oh, Scarlett. I was just going to ask what that wig is. That is a beautiful wig, Scarlett. Uh, haven't heard too many bad things about that one. I think that might be a good choice. Let us know. Keep me posted. I would love to be posted on that. Nanny Bear. Hi from North Carolina. Hello. Marietta Cobb. Um, Awesome, that's awesome. I gotta put that up there. Uh, I'm excited about this, you guys, I am. Uh, I'm always so, so nervous for my lives in general, but doing these impromptu ones, you just never know, you know? So I'm gonna finish getting my ice on, guys. Um, whoa, that, you're gonna see the back of that, and it's not clean, oh well. I am gonna be doing just a very neutral look uh, this is like a really pretty blush pink, a very casual oversized sweatshirt that I got from Amazon. I know I'm not too exciting that way, but I wanted to be comfortable. And uh, so I'm just going to do a very neutral look. If I wear blush pink, which lately I have been doing a lot of, I'm working out of the white peach palette, guys. Um, I tend to just want to do taupes. I'm shaking a lot today. Just be aware of that. Um, and I'm going to show you also the tea I'm drinking because I hope it will help me. <laughs> um, hold on here. I'm going to get this, I think, all the way up here. I never put my brows on before my eyeshadow. I just had to put my brows on today for this 
sort of doctor's appointment thing. I can't go to the house looking completely naked. But here's the tea that I'm drinking, guys. It's called Get Relaxed. I'm gonna put my glasses on. It's from the, I think they're called wellness teas. Be well teas is what it's called. I gotta move this, it's gonna distract me for now. Anyway, um, let me get down to it. It says it's a blissful blend. You guys can hear me okay, right? Uh, it's a blissful blend of health-promoting organic rooibos laced with nerve-soothing chamomile and passion flower, uh, along with stress-reducing eleuthero root. I'm sure I destroyed that word, which helps you chill out, unbend, and unwind. Simply steep and breathe deep. So that... That was just like made for me right now. I mean, I made it myself, but I feel like that blend was literally just made for me. It's actually quite cool at the moment because I was trying to get things set up and it's it's warm. Anyway, this is my Hello Cupcake cup. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna take a sip of this. Earlier, I was like shaking so much. I'm like, oh Lord, I better not take a sip of that on air. They're gonna think I've completely lost it. But I think I've calmed down. Maybe it's working because I've taken several sips. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. All right. Um, it's good. Everything is, is good. Uh, yeah, it is, it's, it's, everything's okay. Just got follow-up doctor's appointments and things like that. Some unanswered questions, but we know what it's all related to. It's just, anyway, I don't know. Wait, I put the brushes that I knew I wanted to use right here so I didn't have to um, go back and forth. But you know what? I'm seeing I don't have one that I need. Did you guys have a nice weekend last weekend? I hope so. I hope you did. What am I going to do? I was just talking about taupes, and there is nary a taupe in this palette. So I must have had an aha, I'm going to use this one moment that escapes me at this time, but okay. That's okay. We're just going to roll with this. We're going to roll with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking at what you guys are saying over there. By all means, chat amongst each other. I, uh, I might have to move this out of the way here. Yeah, I hope you guys had a good weekend. We are gonna be getting some snow, which on one end, I'm actually excited about, but it shows several days in a row, which really is a little scary because if I didn't have anywhere to go, that would be fine because I'm thinking there might be some accumulation. Um, but my husband has a really important follow-up doctor's appointment we got to go to. And uh, I don't like driving in inclement weather, like especially snow or ice. So I'm really hoping that it doesn't accumulate to the point where I'm really nervous about that. Um, if so, I might have my son-in-law drive us because I am such a baby when it comes to driving in inclement weather like that. And I just don't wanna to have to stress over that. I know, it broke, so I still have it because I love it. I don't wanna order another one because I it's from the UK and I'm not in the UK, so the shipping would be horrendous. It wouldn't be worth it. But I love that brush. And I know I could find other brushes exactly like it. That's not that specific one. I just haven't bothered to look for one quite yet. I guess I didn't really grab the ones I actually need. Okay. You guys still with me out there? Do I want that one? Not really. That's not the one I want. Okay. So much for being prepared. <laughs> All right. This, this I don't think has the color I want. So bye bye beach peach palette. 
So this, mm, do I want to go in here? Yeah, I think I will. This is uh, something I got around Christmas time. They still have this. This is Laura Geller's sort of palette that I'm not sure how new it is or what, but um, I do tend to like her eyeshadows. I love, these are baked, uh, so it sort of can give off different hues, which is cool. But I also love that they're inside here, so they don't bleed over to the other ones and just make a mess. I think this is brilliant, and her other palette that I have uh, is the same way, and I really do appreciate how they did that. It's the little things. So I'm gonna go into just sort of a, a dark chocolate brown, I think, with my little dome brush. And uh, we'll see here. Yeah, we're just gonna go for a nice neutral sort of brown thing going on. There's, there's so many colors in here and, and many of them are very similar. So sometimes I forget which one I last dipped into, but um, I remember this one. I'm really thinking I probably should have come on here with my eye makeup done because I'm gonna try to whip through this pretty quickly because there is so many things I wanna do today. But this is what I decided to do. So this is a five times mirror here. I do have to put a five times mirror up when I do my eye makeup or brows. Uh, because I don't wear contacts. Uh, well, I have worn contacts. I tend to put my contacts in before I put my eye makeup on, but they do me no good because they're really for sort of mid distance and I need reading glasses on to get this close and do stuff like putting my makeup on. So they really don't do me any good to put my makeup on with my contacts. And when I, when I do this and go live and I wanna read, I don't bother putting my contacts in. I just wear my glasses, so let's see here. What are, what are we looking like here? I think I'm gonna go just a little bit further this way. Yeah, I am going to find the name of the viewer who told me about these. It was a topper video, so I don't think it will take me too long to do that. I just haven't had an opportunity to, to do that. And then when I do have an opportunity, I forget about doing it. But she deserves a mention for sure. Can I see what you guys are talking about over here? over here on the live chat. If you are watching, but you haven't said hi on the live chat, I, I hope you do. I'd love to know that you're out there. Um, let's see. I know, Cynthia, I know. Agreed, I'm the same. I remember the days when I didn't. It's been a while since those days. Um, Christine says, I need your under eye secrets. <laughs> Um, hmm, I feel like they're going to pot lately, but um, lipids, I'm telling you, uh, a good light, very light, especially for the under eye, something that absorbs quickly, but it's lipids, lipids, the, the, the nice oil blends to tap into the eye area to me is, has to have something to do, I, I do that, that's how I treat my eyes, especially at night. I do like my peptide eye creams. I like my three-in-one peptide eye cream. Peptides are proven, scientifically proven, to help with a lot of those aging things that we need to have happen under the skin. 
So I do like peptides in my eye cream. So I have a uh, three in one peptide by Rhonda Allison is, is my a- absolute favorite. But um, in the winter, if I feel like I need more nutrients and, and um, sort of lipid support to moisturize and, and keep my eye tissue very supple because it's so thin, if the rest of my skin feels it's getting dehydrated, my eyes are just shot by then. So I do put a drop of like the drop of essence hydration drops, just a drop with my little bit of that eye cream and I'll mix it up and then I'll tap it in. And it sometimes I need to do that in the winter, especially. I don't sleep with peptides, um, with a peptide eye cream on. Sometimes uh, if there's a lot of um, also hyaluronic acid be careful sleeping in a cream that may have hyaluronic acid because you'll wake up sometimes kind of puffy because um you know it it may have grabbed a good amount of moisture and socked it in there but you might have puffy eyes um so i like to sleep in just sort of like the infused seven tapped around my eyes or just some sort of nice oil blend just make sure it's not real real heavy because that might be too much for that delicate eye tissue I went into a little bit more detail on that probably than I than you were hoping for. Uh, you get me talking about skincare and I can go off the rails with that. Um, hello, Brenda. She says, I'm new to your channel. Why don't I see your name? My name? Do you mean my um, channel name? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, our weather is crazy. Cold one minute, warm the next. That that's annoying because then it would. How do you do dress? <laughs> you know, do you put your fireplace on or do you not? And that's terrible for the skin, by the way. Um, oh, lots of snow in Toronto. Oh, I bet, I bet. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Daphne. That's very sweet. Crepey skin under the eyes. Yep. It is a thing that's very, that's where you see aging first, really, is that delicate, very thin eye tissue. And so it's kind of the first to go, really. Um, and you just, you just got to support it as best you can. I find that using a nice lipid oil blend underneath your makeup is a wonderful way to prime that skin there. Your, your, um, even though I do have to set, it still helps to keep my, under eye area looking even with the concealer and a little bit of setting powder looking pretty nice and supple through the day. Okay, hi Layla, nice to see you. Sherry, um, okay, I, I think I've had other questions regarding this. Hi, um, she said, I was just watching a different video of you doing makeup and you mentioned the collagen powder you put into your coffee, but I couldn't catch the name. Can you mention which powder you use? Right now, I'm actually using two different ones. I have been doubling up on my collagen lately and um, my favorite is the Vital Proteins Plain Collagen Powder. It has the peptides, collagen peptides. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's a very light, easy, it absorbs really easy into your coffee or tea. And I do an entire scoop into my coffee. It's flavorless, does not have any sweetener or stevia in it. It is my favorite. It's absolutely my favorite. It's the one that my doctor way back when uh, told me to use. And so I, it's, it was her favorite. And uh, so it has always been my go-to. It's a, sort of a real pretty blue color. The label is this really pretty blue, as is the lid. You used to be able to get it at Costco at one time. I'm not sure. And then the other one that I've been using has been um, when I just don't feel like going through all of the steps that it, that it takes me to get. And normally I don't mind doing it, but I, you know, have to. I do some MCT oil sort of brain octane oil in my coffee as well and um, a whole bunch of other things and then I will use an immersion blender because I also sometimes will put in addition to the MCT oil I will put a little bit of ghee sometimes if I'm in the mood for that and maybe even some cacao organic sort of cacao nibs in there that dissolve well that's all sort of fat 
and if you don't use an immersion blender it will float there at the surface and while that may not bother some people I prefer to emulsify that and just have it be part of my coffee and if I don't feel like going through that in the morning, maybe my son perhaps didn't wash out all of the stuff that I need for that, then I just dump a, a scoop full of the Ordain, is that what it's called? A keto collagen powder. And um, it has stevia in it though, which is a bummer, but I've gotten a little used to it. I put stevia in my regular coffee that I was just telling you without using immersion blender and all that to sweeten it, but the powder, the other powder, Orgain, that's what it's called, Orgain Keto Collagen Powder. There's a lot of stevia in there, so it really sweetens it up. And if you're not used to putting that much in, it can be a little shocking. I've gotten used to it now. But then I don't, it has the MCT oil in the powder. Um, and so it's a very basic version of what I generally enjoy doing, but it, I have that too. And it comes in vanilla and chocolate. So it's flavored as well. Whereas the Vital Proteins isn't flavored, no stevia, and I enjoy that better because I can decide how I want to flavor my coffee all right let me get to let me let me get the getting here uh let's see what do I want to do regarding under the eye under the eye yeah I, I tell you uh, my doctor is a big believer in in adding the collagen for other reasons not necessarily beauty reasons uh, and, you know, whatever the science may be out there, I don't know regarding if you consume collagen, what does that do if you consume the hyaluronic acid? It's got to go through the digestive system and all of that. So does it actually do anything? I feel like it does. I know my doctor does. Um, but I do. I do feel like it does. I feel like it does help. I know it makes my hair grow faster for sure and I know it makes my nails grow super fast doesn't necessarily help the brittleness though but as for just the growing part definitely I think there is no question so I feel like if that's the case then it's got to be doing other things as well so I mostly am looking for the other benefits that collagen brings and if the bonus is that it's helping my skin then yay and you know i'll take that bonus any day um what did i do with my oh my gosh you guys i'm not even done and i already put this away it's gonna be interesting today okay um i think i'm gonna go with a just a slightly lighter brown for under my eyes just kind of want to look soft a little smoky down there but i don't think i'll go quite Quite so deep. I don't know. It's a soft color too up there. So, oh, it looks very similar. I'm steadying my hand more than normal. No, I don't remember. Oh, I think it was this one. You know, I don't think it helps that the only thing in my stomach at the moment is the coffee that I had early this morning so it's probably gone and uh, this tea I haven't eaten anything quite yet and it is two o'clock which is actually not unusual for me speaking of I have gained three pounds I don't weigh myself every day I try not to and I haven't been I've been good about doing that and I kind of had a feeling I don't know and I'm not doing anything different I'm not eating things I'm not supposed to if you don't know I, I have been eating keto for over a year now it's stress. I know it is. Stress releases cortisol. Cortisol is not good. It helps you store fat and all of that. Um, and it just kind of messes you up. I am an emotional, emotional eater as well. So I know if I'm being very honest, I could tell you that I'm eating. I'm grazing more in the evening than even normal. Um, I do have like a window where I will eat, but I know I'm grazing more than I normally would. Not with things I'm not supposed to be grazing with on, but just in general. And uh, I think just all of that is uh, contributing to that as well. I do feel a little bit more bloated than normal. 
and so I might be retaining water uh, anyway who knows I honestly kind of expected that so I'm not upset I know it's gonna all even out in the end and that's fine again this is sort of a lifelong transition for me I, I don't plan on going back to eating the way I used to ever so this is it it's gonna wax and wane and I accept that and it actually helps me to just stay on track because it is what it is and I'm not gonna beat myself up over that and that helps it really does I'm using a little tiny bit darker brown now. They have a lot of really pretty browns in this particular palette. They're very similar, you know, they do look very similar and they probably are. They're just a shade or two off from each other, which when you use them together, it creates a nice natural, but you got the depth to where it, it creates enough depth in the look that I like. Um, it's just, it really is a nice palette. not a lot of if any yeah this is mostly for those of you who like neutral to neutral warm there's there's not you know any sort of cool shades in here but just because you may wear a lot of blush pink like i do doesn't mean that you have to constantly wear mauvey pinky colors on your eyes now i'm gonna put this back Jill. Um, where's my little, here it is. Um, I'm going to curl eyelashes. It really, um, I never used to curl my eyelashes in the last couple years I have because they tend to grow straight down these days and it makes it so much easier to tight line when you get your lashes out of the way because you can really see that tight line under there. So curling your lashes is a great little tip. If you struggle with tight lining, it really does kind of lift them up and out of the way and it helps a lot. So I'm gonna tight line with a very deep black under here and then I'm gonna water line with a brown. So do you remember last time I talked about how funny it looks to watch people tight line. And we talked about the Carol Burnett show. Well, it's happening again. I always look like that character we were talking about. It's not the most becoming thing to do on camera, is it? That's okay. So yes, I am definitely covering the tight line. And then once I get that done i really scrub it underneath the lashes and that's sort of oop, i got an eyelash that's just wanting to go in my eye um hold on let me kind of adjust my mirror a little and it's just so much easier to do this than to draw on the top side because of the crepiness and that tissue is just falling over ever so slightly over that lash line as we age. So this is just a trick and it's a great one for maturing eyes or eyes that have done matured. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, that's what I do. Gotta entertain myself. <laughs> okay, let's do the mascara now. Oh wait. Oh well, that's okay. I'll do my waterline after I do this. See, I'm telling you. Multitasking went out the window a long time ago, actually, and it, it just gets worse. It's okay. I was looking up, um, shouldn't do this because it is scary, but my dad had dementia. He had a couple different kinds. It never got to the point where he forgot who we were. Um, at all thank God but he did have uh, 
a couple different kinds, and I had no idea until somebody, a doctor said that he does. Anyway, so one of my biggest fears is that I'm going to get dementia of some sort. And so I always freak myself out when I am forgetful or, you know, reading stuff about leading up to sort of the precondition of simple memory loss to all of the other things. And I tell you, I don't think you should look at those things because just in general, you know, with brain fog and whatnot that I have, I, I can really stress myself out thinking, oh my God, I've got the beginnings of dementia. I tell you what, just stress yourself out more, Jill. That's what you should do. I'm one of those people that should not ever look up anything like that on the internet. Okay, I'm gonna waterline with the dark brown. Oh, and I'm watering a little bit out of this little corner of my eye here. I love these NARS, and you know what? They used to be called NARS Larger Than Life. I think they've changed their name um, because while they're not super creamy, they are very close to being waterproof. So when I do scrub it just a little under the lash line down here, it, it stays and it stays all day, which is really nice. So while they're not ideal for waterlining or tight lining because they're not super creamy, they do have lasting power. And uh, so I do like that. And yes, hold on guys shouldn't talk when I do this um, yes when you tight line above it does come and transfer down below it's gonna happen it's just gonna happen but I find that um, sometimes I'll even put this just a little bit here in the corner so if my makeup wears off there at least this will still be there and I am watering a little bit right there so nothing's gonna stick there now. All right. Okay, so now I'll put some mascara down there and then I'm gonna check in to see what you guys are doing over here and what you're talking about. If you just joined me, I am wearing the wig Pretty Please by Raquel Welch in Shade of Biscuit. I'm sipping on some get relaxed tea and you know what I think it might be working <laughs> and that's a good thing believe you me all right so where oh here we go all right guys so I've been using this for a while remember uh, when I got this you may or may not um, it's called air volume mascara by Cripes. Is it Maybelline? What is it? L'Oreal? What, what am I using here? This is L'Oreal. Sorry. L'Oreal. And I've used it now for a little while. And I do like it. It's it's a little flaky, but but not to the point where I'm so annoyed by it. It's it's most mascara gets a little flaky. But you know what? I do like it. Um, when it starts getting flaky is usually when I'm trying to really build it. If I let it dry completely and then I brush through it, it, it does get a little flaky. But as for transferring down below and really flaking through the day, it's doing really pretty well. This was, uh, at least when I bought it and where I bought it, which was Rite Aid, it was uh, very close to $14. I want to say it was 13 something. So I was a little shocked, actually, but it's still cheaper than my Too Faced, better than sex mascara that I actually do love. But the last couple times I purchased it, because it's $21, it, it's like it was an old batch and it didn't last long not like vault like how much was in it but it just dried out very quickly and that was very annoying so when it happened the first time I thought okay I'm gonna take it from the back but you know I don't go in store now so I get what they give me and they send me 
And the second one did the same thing. And I'm like, gosh, darn it. You know, that's really annoying. Oops, in the eye, in the eye. All right, uh, I'm gonna, oh dear. I'm gonna call that good. Calling it good, calling it. I'm gonna clean a little bit of that off. Mm -hmm. I probably could use even a little more under eye stuff. I'm gonna move this now as in concealer. It's very rand, I mean, very vague, isn't it? Under eye stuff. Okay, um, I've got a lip liner here. I'm gonna need, I think, more blush. First, let me get some lips on, redo that. You know, when you wear masks, you don't even bother with this. And my stomach is growling to high heaven. Hopefully you can't hear that. And I don't know what I'm gonna make myself to eat. Oh, I know. Uh, my, my son pan fried some steak and did an amazing job with, gosh, it was really good. He had, I took a bite of it and I think there are some more left. So I think I'm going to cut it up pretty thin and make maybe a salad of some sort with it. For dressing, I love just drizzling a good amount of olive oil over the salad that I've already made, and then I'll drizzle a good amount of balsamic vinegar, salt, and pepper, and then I like to sprinkle the everything bagel seasoning mix stuff, and that is my favorite way to uh, eat salad, and I hate salad. I don't eat it much, but today I kind of feel like it, so that's probably what I'll, I'll put a good amount of uh, steak on it, I think. Okay, lipstick, lipstick. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What's this? No. No. Um, I think I'm going to go with something pretty simple. What happened to the one that I had on earlier? Because I can't seem to find it. Do I want this one? This may be a two or three... A different lipstick day. I don't know. Mm. Mm. I'm not feeling that. Not feeling that. And you're gonna ask me what that is, and I can't read that. So, I don't know what to tell you there. Um, I just want something very light with a hint of color. I'm looking at the same ones over and over again. Why am I doing that? What's this? What's this? Is this? Okay, well, this might be a little too pink. Let's take a look. Mm, yeah. This is, let me, I'll tell you what this is. I don't know why I'm throwing attitude at you. Jill, stop it. Um, I really am not. It just sort of sounded like I was. I'm going to... Do we like this color on this? Me? Uh, hold on. I feel like I need to do... <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Sexy Mother Pucker. Just a little bit. Because if I don't do a little bit, it will be going down the side of my... Uh, corners of my mouth in no time. I love this gloss, but boy, does it travel. And it travels fast. So I may have to occasionally do this through the broadcast. OK. All right. OK, I am feeling more brush, blush needs to happen. Uh, what did I use? What did I use earlier today? Oh. I, I think I know what I did. So, oh, you guys, I am so excited. I have not purchased new Makeup Geek eyeshadows in a coon's age. I mean, it has been a long time. Year, year, a couple years at least. 
Well, I finally placed an order for some new shadows and I am so excited about them. Uh, I, I was gonna get a couple new blushes as well, but my budget was like, eh, nope. So that might be next time, but I'm expecting those any day and I will do an eye look with those. I'm very excited about them. So this is a very old uh, Makeup Geek palette that I put together with their Z palette. Um, but they're still some of my favorites, but what really is a bummer, and I use them all the time, but what's a bummer is that what if I, I, I really don't do eye looks with these because like to record for you guys, because half of these are no longer available. And that is such a bummer uh, because I love, I love these. So I'm going to actually use eyeshadows right now for blush. I'm going to use these two. And I, I really would love, oh, I did, t I was going to tell you the that lipstick name, didn't I? Wasn't I? Um, okay, hold on. So the, the lipstick that I used, is this it? Yes, this is it. It is an Urban Decay, and it is called, oh, for cripe's sake. Oh, here it is. It's called Naked, and it's a cream, and it's called Naked. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. You're not going to see that, but that's the lipstick that I did. And so I'm going to combine these two for blush. This is Country Girl. And this one is called Cupcake. They may have these. I'm not sure um, if they will or not. They may still have those. So I'm just literally going to put them side by side and I'm going to just dip into both of them. And uh, let me move this now. I do like to look at a regular mirror when I do my blush. But I do feel like I'm washed out from earlier today. I need to refresh. Um, I don't know. Does that look better? Okay. Then I'm going to take a really big powder brush and, and apparently, you know, make other things fall on the floor. And just smooth all that out. Got to look nice and soft. And then the last, the very last thing, and then I will be done and I will join you, is, um, let me move this here, is I do have to do a, a little bit, just a little bit of brightening highlighting. So I'm going to go into the Too Faced um, sort of highlight palette, which is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go, what am I going to do here? I think I'll go into the far left and I'm going to put it right here and just sort of like right on top here. And I think that's it. All right, done, done with my makeup. Let me move all of this out of the way. And then I'm going to peek in and see how many people stuck with me through this. <laughs> and move, move. Wipe my hands off a little tiny bit. Um, not too concerned with that. All right, great. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glasses on. Make sure they're straight. And I'm gonna put my computer now right in front of me, which is my favorite way to do my lives. And let me close these out so I can see your comments. I have not tried that makeup, Carolyn. She asked if I tried, is it Saint, Saint uh, makeup? I've never heard of it. Ooh, I'm gonna be looking that up. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do real quickly here is I'm going to switch mics real quick uh i'm gonna put ooh, ooh, i'm shaking things i'm gonna put this on um what do we got here i'm gonna put these on i might not keep these on the whole time but i am gonna switch mics so hold up here here we go all right here we are perfect let me just check a couple settings here um, boy, that was my stomach that just growled. I heard that. I don't know if you guys did, but I did. 
Um, I heard it through my headphones too, which means you probably did. Let me just check uh, levels here. I'm just gonna real quickly. Okay, I think we're looking good. We're looking good here on Ecamm. So here's where we'll stay now. Okay, awesome. Okay, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and take these off. I'm gonna make my hair look a little better. Here we go. Ooh, got it. I got a little. Oh no, it's over here. It's the opposite, Jill. Oh, did you see that? Somebody just gave me a thumbs down. It just floated right there. Whatever. Um, <laughs> it's like get off the feed. Get off the feed. Okay. Um, I still look quite washed out. I'm looking. I think maybe I need to lower my lights a little bit, maybe, or just put them back. I'm not quite washed out. Okay. Maybe if I lower brightness just a little bit, does that help a little? Maybe. All right, guys. Hi, Vicki. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, these are not readers, actually. These are my actual glasses. Um, <laughs> these are my actual glasses. I've had them for about six years. They are um, Kate Spade, and I don't know the model number of them. And uh, I do like these glasses, and I have since had my eyes, you know, I have a, di a slightly different prescription now, just recently, about a year ago. And you know I still haven't ordered my new prescriptions in a new frame and I have teetered with the idea. Thank you, Roberta, for all of the thumbs up. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, though, no, that's what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, hi, thank you. Okay, um, it's so true, Judy. Let's, I'm gonna put you up there too. Who cares, they can go somewhere else. Yes, and they probably have, and good, good, good. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about, you guys. Oh, Lordy, it's okay. I need some more of my tea. Okay, I'm gonna just, um, Vicki, I'm gonna, oh yeah, my, my, yeah, these, so these are glasses and I have sort of teetered with the idea of possibly just reordering these frames again. They, I need new ones though, they're, they, I need, they're all scratched up and everything like the actual frame itself, so. Um, Let's see. Oh, I still have not heard of that, Carol, Carolyn Preston. Um, oh, yes, yes. If you just tuned in, you can go back and watch later, but we would love to have you just sort of stick with us here live. Uh, it's so much more fun that way. Let's see, I believe Ulta does carry Urban Decay AJ, and or if not, check out Sephora online, um, and you might find it there too. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, so sorry if I, if you had a question. We are dropping the queue in a little bit, you guys. And then we can, we can uh, ask questions. And I mean, you can ask questions anytime. I just might not see it if it was up there a bit. Um. <laughs> Vicky. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't want to put that there. Um, I was going to sip some more tea, but I'm going to wait. All right, you guys. So uh, maybe the reason why the person gave gave me a thumbs down is because it's taken me so long to get to sort of maybe why they were here. And for that, I do apologize. But it was sort of a let's get ready thing. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. All right, so you guys, uh, for I believe it was a topper video. I had uh, somebody say, hey, did you try this? It's something that you can do to secure your topper. You don't have to use um, clips or glue. And I thought, what? So I went ahead and ordered one. I found it, I found all of these on Amazon, you guys. Um, and if I was smart, I would have put the links down below I, before I went live, but I didn't. But you will find them there after this drops on my channel for regular. Anyway, it's by Milano. And, and just so you know, I 
have three different ones I'm gonna show you, and one is not Milano. Milano can be a little pricey, and I have to be honest, I feel like this is overpriced. But it's brilliant, and they patented it, so they, I suppose, deserve to charge for, for what this is. Anyway, it is called Top Grip, okay? And they come in different colors and different sizes. So while my first intention was to use this and check it out with a topper, I found it didn't work for me. And I'll tell you why. Because it has to be, where is it? I know you're in here. Oh, maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's over here. Here it is. No, wait, that's not it. Oh, for cripes sakes. Hold on, you guys. It was here. Where? Oh, here it is. Here's what it looks like, you guys. It's just you know, it's just that same sort of material that the wig grips, same exact material the wig grips are made out of. Uh, it might be a little thinner, I think, in general, but the concept is the same. You make sure that the nap is in the correct position going forward. So when you get this on your head, this grips any hair you may have, and this grips the topper. Then it has, this is the patented part really, then it has this sort of really heavy duty sort of fishing lined sort of rubbery plastic kind of uh, tie thing here. And you can adjust this to either be shorter or to let it out and this little bit tag thing will say either to loosen, you need to gently pull that side or on the opposite side to tighten, it says to gently pull that. So you can adjust this, right? Now, this is for a topper, so this would go like this on your head, and it has these little areas here where you would actually want my, hopefully my camera will do a good job here. Okay, you would put your clip, your front clip if it has one, you'd put that there. Your two side clips, if you have them, would go here, which is brilliant because the side clips are useless for me with a topper. That happens to be where I'm very bald and very, very sparse. So those, those clips do nothing for me. So you utilize this to clip those and then you would clip the rest of them just into your regular hair. I could see where this would work for a lot of women with their toppers and they wouldn't have to um, you know, worry. But with me, because this has to go under your hair when you wear a topper, right? I have a fairly flat head back there. This is why I have to secure my wigs because I don't have a nice little occipital bone that creates a ledge uh, for anything. So this doesn't work for me because this slides up. Even if I adjust this, you know, it does have to sit fairly securely on your head. So you can't have it super loose or it's not going to grip properly. So I have nothing. I can't do low pony when I'm wearing my toppers. I want all my hair down. So it didn't work for me for that reason. But but it does work for wigs because if you're doing a low pony now now you can secure this under there like you would your wig grip but you have nothing it's literally this so it's not going to push up on that little ponytail and just through the day it gives me a headache it's like a pressure point my ponytail is at such a place that it really does a regular wig, wig grip does kind of push that in a little even though it's kind of technically a little under it and it drives me nuts it, it doesn't give me like a full-on headache but it what it does do is well it kind of does it creates all of this muscle tension that goes down the sides of my neck i know this is weird excuse me, sit down the side of my neck and sort of into my traps. And that pressure point just, I think, causes that to happen. So this you do not feel. It does a good job. It's skinny enough to sort of get my little tiny ponytail under there and creates a great situation. You guys, this is really a game changer for me. It really is. Now, again, this doesn't, this concept doesn't work for toppers for me. Maybe it will for you, but it doesn't for me because this just rides up, this gets loose, and then it's not doing what it's supposed to. But my toppers, you guys, have been working so amazing with my It Stays. I use the It Stays in the whole front and side on both of the newer toppers that I've shown you on my channel, and it works so amazing. So comfortable. I don't even worry about the side clips. Take those out, and the It Stays is doing a fantastic job. So I'm okay, I think, really with my toppers. 
my wigs. I'm great with my it stays, but as I explained earlier, um, I don't always want to wear my wig all day. And then I, you know, I take the it stays off my hair and I don't know, it's not that big of a deal, but I tend to use the it stays if I'm wearing my wigs for several hours and then I'll use a wig grip instead. Well, this is brilliant. However, I did wear, wear a couple times, I wore this with a wig and the amount of this that you get for this particular reason just isn't quite enough. My wig did kind of want to move around a little bit, even with, you know, adjusting this and securing it, it needed some more sort of coverage with this material. Well, they know that. So, now this, this this other one is also a Milano. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, did I even take it out of here yet? Yes, I did. Hold on, guys. I got to look for it. It might have fallen. Well, where did it go? Oh, you guys, I got it on my head. I got, I got it on my head. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. I will take my wig off and I'm going to show you because I wanted to try this out all day. So it's the same thing, only it has a lace little area. I'm, I'm just going to have to do it. I know. It's okay. I just knew I was going to do this. All right. So look what we got here, you guys. This is a game changer. Truly, for me, this changes the game for two reasons. Okay. First of all, this material to me is quite a bit thinner. I don't feel it so much, which is great. This has a, a bit of a lacing area. You can take it a little to the side because technically I think I would need to do that myself because I parted this originally about here, but I think I have it over a little. So you can move this, it's okay if this is up a little, and you can move the lacing to work for you so you don't see your wig grip so much. And lately I have been wanting the dark brown because the rooting of my blondes and my wigs and whatnot tend to be a dark brown. So I this works better if you're going to see it at least you're seeing that dark brown color rather than a nude color where then that wig grip really stands out when you see it through the monofilament so uh, this is great it has a little bit of a lace front you know a wider here and then a, a smaller area here um, but the brilliant part now I had to adjust it it took me a little bit to figure it out even though it shouldn't be that hard um, but look you don't have that wig grip anywhere, anywhere in here where it jams up in the back of your ear. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Is this not exciting? I think this is so exciting. So the wig grip is not jamming behind the ear. It's not doing anything to my ponytail other than just sitting under there, that little fishing wire type thing. Right? Here it is. I don't feel it back there at all, you know? And so now the wig grip's not competing with the wig and the wig gently sort of starts pushing it up and then it pushes up my little ponytail back there. And it just, it really uh, it ends up being extremely annoying and, and my it just doesn't work. This gives me enough coverage. Now this is still really recommended for toppers, okay? Um, it is still called the top grip. It's still called the top grip. It is just, um, where, where is this? Um, is it called large? I, I will find the, the link to this. And I want to say this small one, the first one I showed you was like $25. And this one I think is a little bit more, but it gives enough coverage where it's doing a super good job at holding my wig on so you guys okay so now i wanted to find another option that's not quite so expensive and so this isn't quite as nice this next one i'm going to show you because um and by the way these aren't bu bugging me right now these these don't tend to bug me but um let me put my wig back on are you guys excited about this? I, ha I can't see without my glasses. I, I really want to um, take a look and see what you guys are saying over there. Let me put my wig back on real quick, guys. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, I got to I can't see my regular mirror because everything is the opposite when I look into the actual uh, eCam sort of camera thing here. Um, let me just put a little hairspray in here. All right. Uh, now this other one, first you guys, I have to see what you guys are talking about over here. Um, Yeah, you know, Lynn, that's the thing. The wig grip, if you put your wig on the grip itself back there, it will prevent it from riding up. But what I tend to do is I ended up I end up pulling it really under the wig grip. So the wig grip acts as more of a uh, ledge kind of thing that and but I also do the low ponytail. So the wig grip has to kind of go over that ponytail and it just creates this really uncomfortable situation. But the other thing, and the main reason why I don't like wig grips is that it's another bulky something underneath my wig. It's another major bulky irritation back here in the nape. And um, it, it, it bulks up behind the back of my ear and I do have to pull it away and I do. Uh, it's just another something something under my wig. I just want my wig on really. I want to feel my wig and that's it. So for those of you that really don't have those issues with your wig grip, this definitely wouldn't be for you. But for those of you that may just enjoy a, a low pony and then like me with some it stays, um, and I still love my it stays for sure, but this just makes a very quick, easy, way to to wear my wigs and uh, um, and it's it's comfortable I don't feel you know too much of that material under there you know when you wear your it stays you can kind of you know feel a little bit of that too so I feel like it's very similar the sensation it's giving me is very similar to what I may feel with the it stays um, by the way yes the let me put this up here thank you so much for asking Kelly Hello, I don't think I've said hi to you yet. The hairspray that, um, oh wait, no, this is who we want, but hello, Kelly. Nola. Um, hello, Nola. The hairspray I used is by Beauty Mark. It's called Style and Hold, and it's currently my favorite one that's made for synthetic fibers. It's a nice, safe one to use. It's a little watery, a little sticky, but it does a, a, a much better job than some of the other hairsprays that I've used for synthetic wigs. Um, let me see. Oh, that's okay, Lori. We're going to be on here for quite some time. <laughs> you are not late to the party at all. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I know. It depends, Carolyn. She said she actually has very short hair, so she can't do a little low pony to create that ledge for this. But if the back of your head is shaped nicely, it probably would stay under there. You might have to adjust it a little bit, either let some of that out or pull it a little bit tighter. You might have some success with it. Oh, so, oh Joyce, I, I know she's hypersensitive as well. You might want to try this. I am really excited about it. Um, You know, I, you wouldn't need much. You just would have to make sure, she said that the tiniest of ponytail she could probably make. Um, you just have to make sure that your ponytail will stay in, you know, and maybe do a little bit of hairspray down there. And I sometimes too will do a ponytail and like um, two ponytails, one here, one here. They're smaller, but um, it might be easier for you to create two little tiny ponytails rather than taking if it's really short hair trying to get enough hair back in that center area to make one um okay i know vicky the it stays really is a godsend uh, for sure and um it's how I've been doing my toppers, uh, especially my new lace front topper. 
it works fantastic. I use it on my, you know, a low pony and it's just in the front perimeter. You really can't beat the it stays. You don't have to worry about any of this, honestly. But this is an, an amazing option. I think it really is a game changer. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lynn, thank you so much for uh, posting this. She said, a wig person told me to make even the tiniest of ponytails with those little rubber bands they use for, and I have a ton of them because I do have a Shih Tzu, the little dog top knots. Um, and she said they work great. And uh, it's a great way to, to sort of secure your wig or even a wig rip like this. I know, that's... Okay, all right, so now... Again, here's the other option. There is a third option that I found in looking at these different ones. Now, I wore this all, was it all day? Oh, I wore this one actually when I wore this wig for our virtual baby shower that we had. So here, this one is not um, a Milano, but it worked fantastic and it was comfortable as well. And it's called, it's by Beauty Hair. I will put the link to this and same thing guys where but you have definitely obviously more of this you are going to you know kind of feel it a little more behind the ear there but this worked nice as well you can adjust this and it will sit under kind of your pony or if you have a nicely shaped head you could possibly get away with this as well um, now it tapers, which I love. This is why it was still quite comfortable for me because it tapers kind of down. So it wasn't as bulky when it started getting here and it was definitely more comfortable. And if you feel like what I have on now isn't quite gonna give you maybe that security that you want to know is there, this might be a, another good option. Now this was, I believe nine, 99 so it was like ten dollars so that's half the price of you know this milano with the with this um and again this just wasn't enough surface for me for the wig it, it really it wasn't uh it did better than nothing for sure but i'm like mm, i think i wouldn't feel real confident with just this this would work great for a topper if you can somehow manage to not have this completely disengage and sort of start going up you know with your hair uh, because i have such fine hair i don't have the weight even in my hair to keep this under there you know so it just didn't work for my toppers but this stuff is is really this whole system of, of tightening and pulling with this is patented by milano at the moment so for half the price, I couldn't find anything because that's patented. So this was a really nice option. It was more comfortable than wearing a full wig grip for me. Um, and it is a great option. I was hoping I could find, you know, another one, another option for something that's not quite so expensive. Um, so yeah, I love that it tapers. I love that it tapers down. It, it just it just makes the world of difference. So there you go, guys. Now, if you are a full on wig grip gal, then they make these, which I switched to, and I, I love the this option when I do wear them, is that lace front little area in the actual wig grip, right? And that's if you have the monofilament or a mono part you would place this there and you would see this instead of the wig grip um, so that's nice but just know if it's 100 percent hand tied full crown um, um, monofilament you still in areas you know will see some of this wig grip there if it's just like the whole crown is monofilament and that is annoying to me if i pay for that feature in there you know i, I don't want to see my wig grip at all um, but if it's just a uh, sort of this is better than than just a full-on that's for sure even with that circumstance but if it's just a side part that has the monofilament this is brilliant works great so I used to wear this color I was thinking well I want it to look like my skin if you see it that's now I do the dark brown different you know the different brands have different colors right because this is a different slightly different color of brown um, it's probably different than the one that's on my head, but I find the darker colors because mine generally have dark brown rooting 
it sort of hides that wig rip a little more. So I, I don't any longer um, shoot for getting like a nude color. All right, so this one here, guys, this option, the name of this is called Wonder Band. Is it gonna come in for you? Wonder Band. And it came very quickly. All of these, I believe, came pretty quickly. This one, I think, took a little longer. Or was it this one? I don't know. It was a reasonable amount of time to get here. So now, the I do want to mention that the Milano ones with the sort of fishing line kind of thing, they do come with extra fishing line with the little grip things. If, by chance, you were to break one, they come with a replacement, which is very nice, considering they're about 25 for the small and, and even more for the larger size. Um, so you do have a replacement, which it would take a lot to break this. This is very strong. But there is a replacement. Both the small and the larger size came with a replacement. And that's great. So there you go, guys. That is the big news. And you guys got first look exclusive. I'm going to be recording a separate video about these uh, after we're done with our live, I think, today. Unless I'm pooped out, then I might wait till tomorrow. But um, it really, you have no idea how excited I was about this. I, I was so excited. And I was really excited to share it with you in case you guys are struggling with a wig grip or just figuring it out on how to secure your wig. More options. We need as many as we can. And the more options we have, the more we can try and the more we can really dial it in to make our wig experience and or topper experience the best it can be. And that's always great. Um, the tapered wig, yeah, did you see that? It's called Wonder Brand their uh, Nadine Wonder Brand, W-O-N-D-E-R Band. So that's exciting to say the least. So let's have an applause there for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. All right, you guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, the tapered wig grip with more of that bra strap thing at the bottom is not a Milano brand. It is not. Uh, I wanted to find an option that wasn't quite so expensive. I'm just scrolling up before we move on. Okay, let's put this up here from Danielle. Hi, Danielle. She said, how do you secure the back of your wig? It stays, won't hold. I, I, I used to use it stays all the way around. And while it would hold, that's usually where we sweat back there. And so being it stays is a bit, well, it's water soluble. I found that, I think what I was doing is I was putting the it stays where I thought my wig would be, and then my wig would kind of ride up to where it naturally should be. And I would have some it stays down there. It would be a little sticky. And then some of the wig hair would kind of grab that and it would drive me nuts. So I ended up using, and I will use wig tape on an, like say Ignite that has a very close in tapered, uh, nape area that won't work well at all with a ponytail back there and that bump. So wig tape works great for that. You just got to shave any hair back there that tape is going to touch because it will smart when you take it off. It's tape. So it's not like it stays where it doesn't hurt. Tape will hurt. So make sure you, you put it on skin only, but it works great. It will stay for you all day. Um, so I, I either do a low ponytail when I can and I would do it stays in the front and tucking the wig under that low ponytail, you can do more than one ponytail. Um, it will create a, a something, a ledge of some sort to sort of pull your wig over. And it works great for me. It's very comfortable. I much rather do that. Um, so yes, I did my low pony with that tapered one with that bit of a bra strap, this one here. And it, it was more comfortable than a full on wig grip. This is really for those of you that struggle with wearing wig grips like I do, uh, because they're just, I'm just hypersensitive and yeah. So uh, this worked great. It, my ponytail, it held this where it needed to and it was a lot more comfortable. This one with the fishing line kind of thing. Well, I tell you this one, this one, 
<laughs> really is a game changer for me. I know they are very, it's like, I understand why you would need the, uh, the wig grip sort of, you know, microfiber material right in this area to do its job, but to have it the same thickness all the way under, I don't know. I know that a lot of women do depend on that to keep their wigs from riding up in the back. I've never done that with mine. Um, it rides up and, sorry, that's a siren you're hearing outside. Um, and I tend to get my wig over that wig grip back there. And then if I am wearing a low pony, it's just a mess. It's a conundrum. It really is. And I feel like this solved it all. Uh, yes, the tape that I use, and I don't have a specific name per se, I get it from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. It's white and it's three quarter inch. That's the size I get. You get several of them that are pre-cut in a package, lasts quite a while. I use a new one every time I use it uh, because tape, it's like the first adhe adhesive adhesion is uh, the best, that's gonna be your best. Sometimes though, you know, don't feel like you need to redo it. If you kind of get it there a little bit, you adjust and then you kind of have to disenroll and then it'll still work great. Um, so. No, I, hi Bev, that's a, that is a great question. I'm gonna do this. Great question. She said, would you wear the Milano lace front topper grip, the one you're wearing now with a topper? I noticed you have that fishing line under a pony right now, but that wouldn't work with a topper. That's it. That's, that is exactly why originally I thought I would try this with a topper, but I have no way to secure it in the back of my head. And so therefore it's not secured at all because it would just ride up. You know, you could take it and put it under your hair, get your hair out when you're wearing a topper, but I have quite a flat head back there. So I don't have a natural ledge for it and it would just ride up and then it's pushing my very fine thin hair behind under the topper kind of up and that's weird um, look, you know, all around. So it just, it, these, unfortunately, they're made for toppers. Even this one under my head is made for toppers, but I, it just wouldn't work for me. I have no way to secure it back there. I mean, you could possibly, I don't know. I, the, then you start getting into, well, you, maybe you could clip it back then. Well, then that defeats the purpose of it being comfortable, you know? And uh, I just, when I'm wearing a topper, part of the comfort of a topper is that all my hair is down and, and it, anyway, so does that make sense? Okay. Um, okay, guys, I want to, let's switch gears here a little bit and I might get on my um, headphones for this. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, I do feel better when I have these on. You guys, I want to know, and I will continue, guys. We're going to be dropping the queue. I'm going to be looking for questions. I will. Um, oh, let me get to this here before we move on to what we're going to be doing next. She said, thanks. Question number two, do you think this new topper grip will replace your usual It Stays in Tape? Not for my toppers. <laughs> my toppers, uh, my lace front toppers, hold on, guys. Sorry. My lace front toppers, um, I only have one at the moment, and I love it. Um, I love that topper, you guys. The one Ellen Villa effect. I am getting that one in another color. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't ordered it yet or anything, but it is on my wish list to get a different color in that. I love the color that it that it's in, but I love it so much that I'm going to get two, and I want to switch up the color. That's the Ellen Villa Effect Topper, by the way, lace front. Uh, my It Stays works so great with that one. It, it is, it just works so great. So I have no desire to, to do that. Now, as for if your question's regarding, you know, I'm wearing a wig with this top, I mean, with the, the one you're talking about. Uh, it, mm, I, I, it might, it might replace my It Stays in the front if, um, and the low pony. However, on those styles, the Pixies, the Ignite, I can't wear a low pony with that. So I would go back with It Stays and wig tape back there. And then I secure my hair differently in the back when I don't do a low pony. I just try to make it as flat as I possibly can. It doesn't take much, don't have much hair. So, but yeah, wigs like Ignite, I, I cannot do a low pony. So I would do my It Stays. But this is a game changer. No kidding, guys. I, that was not click, clickbait at all. This one that I have on my head right now, which is like the other one, only it has more sort of of that, you know, 
coverage there with that material that grips works great for wigs it is a game changer for me okay guys let's do a little fun thing here i want to know what it is you guys are streaming hello all right so yeah you guys i was struggling really struggling with something to watch on the tv and so i was re-watching shows like i re-watched breaking bad that's a very heavy show and but it had been oh i just froze i was afraid of that hold on guys hold on mm, dang it well that's a lovely pose that i'm frozen in there there i am okay um but i rewatched the entire breaking bad all was it five or six seasons yeah and uh, it had been uh, long enough to where I enjoyed rewatching that again. But I, then I'm like, well, what do I do now? So here's what I have been watching. And I want to know, ooh, I, I'm seeing some up there already. I want to know what you guys are watching. Let me switch on over here. There I am. I got to pause this or it's going to move right along. All right. So hello. Hello. I have been watching um, on Showtime, and I believe I've mentioned this before. It's not done yet. It has now one more episode, and it'll be done. So you're lucky if you haven't tuned in, and if you have Showtime, you will be able to watch the entire thing practically. You won't have to wait. So we have Brian Cranston's Your Honor that's on Showtime. I will watch anything with Brian Cranston. He's so good so good i wish he would do some more comedy though because he's he's such a great comedian too but lately uh for many years now he's been doing a lot of really heavy drama and it is quite heavy hold on guys i'm gonna take a sip of my get relaxed tea i'm sorry you're hearing loki bark downstairs uh oh i'm gonna have to put this back over here <clears throat> sorry Anyway, he's just so good. What I do is I will sign up. So I saw this. I saw this. It was going to be on Showtime. So I signed up for the Showtime's free trial period, which didn't cover, obviously, you know, the whole time it's going to take for the show to play and finish. But I did at least a little span of a free trial. And then, yes, I will pay for whatever it is I need to continue watching that show. And then if there's nothing else, I cancel my subscription. That's what I did with HBO. Nicole Kidman had a series on HBO that I wanted to watch. And for the life of me, now it's escaping me what the name of that one was, The Undoing, that's the name of it. I signed up for a free trial for HBO and watched it and canceled it once there wasn't a whole lot more I wanted to see there and canceled that. So that's what I'm gonna probably do after this next Sunday when they have the final episode of Your Honor. But you guys, I want you to watch the trailer if you haven't watched it. And uh, it, it's very heavy, it really is, but it is very good. Um, Brian Cranston, if you're a fan, yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it. But I wanna go ahead now and show you a trailer of Your Honor. Let me go ahead and mosey down, give me a bit to get this set up for you guys. Um, I'm going to get this up here. Hold on. I need to cancel this. Hold on, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and watch this trailer of Your Honor. I'm going to do a full screen for you. I smell the fear, like 
can work on fear. I can't do it to any of this. Yes, you can. You have to. Or we die. I'm a good liar. I can't know this. This is New Orleans. Everybody connects. You're asking me to put your son before the pursuit of justice. I am your father. I am being your father. I need more time! It's amazing what a man can do with the will to survive. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoops. Hold on, guys. Let me get out of uh, full screen. Oh, no. No, Jill. Pause. <laughs> One of these days, I'll be really good at this and just switch you guys right around. Let me get back to my camera here, hopefully, if we're lucky. There we go. Hallelujah. So, yeah, it is very heavy, but it is very good. And uh, there's only 10, 10 episodes, I believe. Yeah. And this Sunday comes on, I'm not exactly sure the time, but I want to say around 6.30ish, my time, Pacific time. I can generally count on it being there um, on Sundays. So this coming up Sunday is going to be the last one. So, and I have last week's to watch as well, which brings me to this. Let me pause this before it goes away. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zip down to here, right here. This is... Uh, I don't know why I'm late on the bandwagon on that show there. That is called The Handmaid's Tale. Now, it has been out, I believe, since 2018. I tried to watch it once before and just one episode, I think. And I wasn't in the mood, apparently. And I stopped. I'm like, nah, I, I don't think I can do this right now. So it's been now this is 21, you know, 2021. And I've decided to just watch this. And it is disturbing it is beyond heavy and yet it is sublimely amazingly good uh the acting is uh, i mean she's won awards the show itself it it speaks for itself with just the notoriety and the awards that it has received so uh but i'm i'm notorious myself for, for waiting to watch these obviously excellent shows i did the same with breaking bad it took me years w many many years uh, to watch that one i'm like nope it's not a genre that i'm into and it lived up to all the hype well i'm only on season two and i believe there's only three seasons right now and it is so good uh very very heavy very very heavy but uh if you're if you're kind of looking for some drama something good to watch that you know is going to be good quality i mean down to just the angles the filming the just <laughs> how they do it, the close-ups, the, the song, the music, the feeling, which is very powerful. And me being a very highly sensitive person on all levels, I really put myself in that character. So I can't watch a lot of these back to back because I go through it all and I'm like emotionally exhausted when, I, when one is done uh, because they're all of them are heavy and um, it is so good. It, it, it is breathtakingly good. I know Game of Thrones. I just wanted to, to I mean, I just read that. Roberta, I know. Uh, Game of Thrones, boy, that that is, that was something. I look forward to everyone. Um, okay, so, oh, hello, Princess P. I'm so glad you joined us today, Bev. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying over here. So Bev says, I also loved Fleabag. I've seen that. I've been very close to that. Uh, wicked hilarious humor. Uh, and a sexy priest might not be streaming now, but definitely worth catching when it's on. I'll take a look. I have seen that in the past. Um, all right. Now this one here, guys, this is, this is Brever. What is the name of it? I'm, I'm, I never can remember how to pronounce this. Um, Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yes. Um, so this has been da taunting me every time, you know, I turn on Netflix. It's like, there it is. You got to watch it. And I just like, no. Mm -mm. Well, so then just recently I started watching it. Guys aren't going to like me for this. So I had no idea 
at the t- if I would have known this, I think it would have been better. But apparently this is indeed based on like a romance novel or possibly even a series of romance novels. Um, because that's exactly what it is you're getting. You're getting a romance novel, which is great. I used to read romance novels like crazy. I do love myself a good romance novel. And this had great potential. It really did. It's very fun. It's it's like a modern take on this era. Uh, they do modern takes on some of these songs that are, you know, just sort of set in that time, but yet they're modern. It's very clever. Um, it's fun. And there's a lot of plenty of twists and, you know, all of that. However, and I watched all of it, except for the last, I think, literally one or two episodes to the end. And I don't know why I've never got, I just lost, I just lost interest, to be honest. It it had such great potential and it was, it got me going and it definitely sucked me in. And then all of a sudden it just got really ridiculous. I mean, it was like a romance novel to me gone bad really bad. I just couldn't do it anymore. It's like, this is so bad. I don't know. So I never finished it. I, I need to because I invested all this time in it. But to be honest, I really when when that happens, it means I don't care about the characters anymore. I don't care about, you know, how it ends, obviously, because I never retuned in. And I think I only have one episode left, possibly maybe two, I didn't even check. But I know I'm at the end, pretty much. So I suppose I should, maybe it would redeem itself for me. But <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. I just, I couldn't, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, that's what I have been watching. And um, I, you know, there, I, I decided to really sort of watch this because I needed something, which is why I kind of put it in the middle of these very majorly heavy shows. And so this was a nice escape. And it, it was, it really was for, for that. Uh, but then it just, to me, went really, got really ridiculous. So there you go. I love period dramas, I do. Um, and it's hard for me to find one though that will capture me, but I love them. I mean, Downton Abbey, come on. That was amazing. I miss that so much. I did watch the movie and enjoyed it so much. But uh, yeah, so you got to kind of be open to this. It's it's not your average period drama, which is fun. It really is fun. They did a great twist on it, kind of modernized it. But it just got really ridiculous for me. I'm so sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm offending people out there. Um, let's see let me know you guys give me some suggestions for those of you do i have you i've got some out there right from the uk and whatnot i would love some suggestions of i love uh actually i stopped my brit box subscription because i watched all the ones that i liked you know um i kind of kept my brit box for um keeping up appearances i love that show you guys i love keeping up appearances um, and so I would just keep my Brit box going because when I felt the need to watch it, I would just log in and watch some of me, some of my keeping up appearances. I also love um, Rosemary and Time, that uh, wonderful British whodunit. It is just, I loved it. And I actually loved that one so much that I bought the DVDs for it because it's so fun. Um, Okay, guys, let me know what you're watching. I want to know. Let me know of any great sort of um, British shows that here we have All Creatures Great and Small on PBS, but she prefers the original. Um, Let's see. Firefly. That's another one that I have pondered about. Thank you, Roberta Uh, or Debbie. Wait, Wait, you guys are you guys are going along here and I'm missing who who said that. Debbie, yes. <laughs> Firefly Lane and most things on Masterpiece. Okay, all right. So does Masterpiece Theater, PBS, need a separate like subscription for? Or is that part of Prime? I'll have to see. Um, oh, I've not heard of this. Tubi is free and has a lot of really great movies. Okay, I will check into that, Roberta. Um, Firefly Lane. Okay, I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to look into that. See, you guys are telling me Bridgerton. Um, 
Hallmark Mysteries. Yeah, they've got to be good, though. I, I'm pretty picky about that. Um, I have seen some really cute Hallmark movies, for sure. Give me some suggestions, some specific ones, Roberta. Which ones of the Hallmark Mysteries do you like? The Flight Attendant, HBO Max. Uh, okay, I don't think I've heard of that one. Big Sky, I believe I started watching that. Little Things, okay. That I have seen pop up before. Yellowstone, okay. Um, okay. The Dig. Oh my gosh, Bev. I, I just watched it. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It's sad. Um, it got me choked up. Uh, but that I enjoyed that as well. It's called The Dig. Uh, and it's on Netflix at the moment. Isn't it Netflix? I believe it's Netflix. Miss Scarlet. Okay. Let me go up here. Okay, I think I... I the Durrells. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I may have tried to watch that. Not to say that I didn't like it. No, actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to relook. I'll take a look at that. Thank you, Nancy. By the way, hello, Nancy. Um, it's on Prime. Oh, Virgin River. Judy, uh, that was my last, uh, on my last time I did one of these. What are we streaming? That was one of them. It sucked me in and I really enjoyed it go figure. <laughs> I know here I'm not into Bridgerton, but I totally got sucked into the romance sort of novel-esque show of Virgin River, much more drama, um, uh, definitely more drama. And at the end of every episode, I was consequently choked up every time. It was a little smudge, uh, but I enjoyed it. I really did. I did. I enjoyed Virgin River. Uh, Sherlock, hello. Hello. That deserves an applause. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sherlock. I mean, would we all freak out, pass up and, I mean, pass out and die if they decided to do another season out of the blue? That would be a dream come true. If you have not watched Sherlock, you need to do it. It is, gosh, it is beyond good. So good. I miss that show so much. That is one that I will go back to and just rewatch over and over. Okay, I know. Game of Thrones. What did you guys think of the ending of Game of Thrones? I guess we shouldn't do that in case some of you are thinking about watching it. Then we would have a huge spoiler alert. Uh, it's very controversial how they decided to wrap it up. <laughs> but perhaps we shouldn't touch on that. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you. I am going to make note. As you know, I do sort of rewatch these when they come up on my channel so I can follow along with you guys on the side here. Um, and see if I missed anything when I inevitably do every time. So I'm going to write down some of these when I go scan through that, when I do that, so I can check out some of those. Thank you for your suggestions, you guys. I think we pretty much uh, probably asked the questions, but I think just in case we are officially going to drop the queue. <laughs> Thank the Lord, I popped up again. I never know. I never know if that's going to work or not when it does that. Um, okay, do you guys have any general questions about anything? It doesn't have to be about helper hair or anything like that. I would just love to know if you had any any questions at all. What are we at time-wise here? It's 3.20. We've been on since about 1.30. So we have a little bit of time here. I mean, we've stretched out to two hours before in the past. We're going to do it again. I knew this was going to probably land about there by the time uh, we did everything. Um, oh, oh, okay. I'm seeing some more suggestions. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the, the Queen's Gambit. Are you talking about, Nancy? I couldn't get into that one. I watched several episodes and I couldn't get into the Queen's Gambit. I tried. I tried. It just sort of did. It sort of did this. And then it just sort of stayed, say, stayed here for me. And I, I just couldn't continue. I know a lot of people love that show. Um, 
The Crown. The Crown is one that I do enjoy, but I've watched. I've got all caught up on The Crown. Um, all right. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions. If not, um, let me think. Is there something that I've been wanting to touch base with you guys? I don't think so. I wanted to tell you about how excited I I am to get my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And uh, I'm really excited about those. And they should be here any day. Maybe that's what Loki was barking at downstairs. Maybe he was telling me there was a package down there. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. A place to call home on Acorn TV. That is another sort of subscription one that I have pondered about getting. Way back when there was a um, Benedict Cumberbatch thing. It was like a movie he did that was coming out only on Acorn TV. And I really wanted to see it. So that was quite some time ago. I pondered, but I've never done that. I'm gonna have to check it out. What do we have here? Agatha Christie, Perot, Miss Marple. I think that is on BritBox. Okay. BritBox is only six dollars and something cents, so I bounce back and forth on that one. I'll, I'll cancel it for a couple months and then I'll bite the bullet and do it again. Whereas Showtime and HBO, they're a little bit more, you know, to, to commit to. So if I don't see anything, I will just cancel. And for the most part, they make it pretty easy to do that. So yeah, I like the dig. What was there was another one that I watched? Um, Oh, I th I hate to say it because I don't remember the, the name of it. So why even put it out there if I don't remember the name of it? Um, I don't think I've ever watched. I know those are very popular British shows, the Miss Marple and the Perot. Is that how you pr pronounce that? Um, I've never seen them. I do like my Rosemary and Thyme and um, Keeping Up Appearances. Those are my two favorites. A place to call home. Okay, I'm going to make a mental note on that one. Yeah, that's the Acorn TV one. Uh, if, you've, um, if you have any questions, I am not, there's a delay. I'm, I'm noticing there is a quite a delay as it pulls questions from YouTube over here to Ecamm. You guys, this tea is actually, I think, really helping with my stress. <laughs> Even if it's a placebo effect, let's just pretend. Oh my gosh, Nancy. We have very similar taste, I think. Um, penguin, are you, okay. Oh no, you might not be. No, never mind. You're not talking about the same one. Okay, I'll check that out. I'll check that out. The, <laughs> forget it. The one I was thinking is not, not what you were thinking. Um, I was thinking of the Jim Carrey, um, Mr. Popper's Penguin. That is a cute movie, you guys. So cute. Jim Carrey is just adorable in that movie, and I do love that movie. So when I saw Penguin, that's what I thought. But I will check that out. Thank you, Nancy. Um, oh, Bev, she said she recently bought a Makeup Geek Matrix palette. Um, warm and cool colors. Cool. The I got individual ones. Uh, they are going to be more of a warm. And, you know, I realized I don't have a lot of green eyeshadow. I'm very picky with the green that I would put in a look. And I found some gorgeous. I hope, there's, I hope they are when I see them in person. Um, and so I did get it's going to definitely be more of a warm, eh, probably neutral warm looks that I'm going to get from my, the choices that I made. However, I did also get a real pretty pink ish color because I don't yet have a true cool sort of pinky mauve color that I like because they all turn a little orange on me they they do and they don't ever look like they do in the pan once I get it in my eye look it's very annoying I'm sure it's a pH thing but I'm hoping this one will be nice because I do want a true mauvey pink color um, <clears throat> so I'm super excited to get my Makeup Geek shadows. It's been so long since I got new ones. Hair question. Oh, yay. Constance has a hair question. 
Upstage by Raquel Welch. How can I get it to quit flipping out instead of going under? Well, that is a heat friendly fiber. You could try putting a little heat to that. It, um, it's funny, I would rather have Upstage go out this way a little than under. Is that what? Oh, you want the same. You, you, oh no. Okay, let me reread this. Just let me, let me revisit this whole thing. Um, oh, hold on. I lost it. Well, nonetheless, it doesn't matter. Oh, here it is. Um, let me put it back up here. How can I get it to quit flipping out instead of going under? So you do all, you want it to go under. I love using for just a gentle nudge. You know, it's not going to put in a curl or anything like that, but it gives enough warm heat to where it will sort of nudge it into a different direction. You might want to try the Helen of Troy or, and I will put the link to this down once I'm done here. Um, Helen of Troy, the one and a half inch barrel, I cannot find anywhere. I don't know if they don't make it anywhere, but I have many time, times tried to find the link for you guys. I can't find it anywhere. It's sold out. I used to get it on Amazon and I love the one and a half inch barrel. I like the Helen of Troy because it's plastic and you don't want ceramic. You don't want metal. It's too hot for synthetic fibers and the plastic is great. It's inexpensive because it's plastic and that's what that's what we want. And it has different um, like heat. Uh, although I found that it doesn't necessarily adjust the temperature so much as the amount of heat because it's a hot air brush. It's like a blow dryer, but it's a brush and it's great. You can use it safely on even your non heat friendly synthetic fibers, just not again to change an entire style, but to maybe nudge a bang that's being weird or nudge some box hair into calming down a little bit. And um, so I did find a very, very similar one. I can unfor unfortunately I can't tell you what the name of it is now, but I will remember to put the link down below in the description box. As a matter of fact, you may find it if you click my Amazon store, my sort of affiliate link store where I truly just put all of my favorite things that I talk about in various videos in there. I may have done that with that. Um, and to find that, because I don't think I have the link for it right now down there, you would go to amazon.com backslash Jill, no, amazon.com backslash shop backslash Jill and Beauty Therapy will take you to that. And in wig accessories, you will find, I think, the link to the one that I found that looks very, very similar. The only difference is I couldn't find a one and a half inch, but it's one and a quarter inch, I think. One inch just wasn't big enough for me. I wanted a bigger barrel. They work great. And you may find that that uh, is what it takes to kind of change that a little bit. Okay. I know. Nadine, you know, thank you for reminding me because I used to be so good at taking a really good magnesium supplement. It is so um, calming. It really is. And it helps so many other things as well. I got to go easy, though. Got to go easy. I got to ease into magnesium intestinally. <laughs> it messes me up. I know there are different types of magnesium that's a little easier on your um, gastrointestinal tract. But uh, I do need to do that because it's been some time since I've taken a magnesium su supplement. I do feel better. I feel definitely just sort of like, like I did take a deep breath, just like they said would happen. <laughs> yeah, I'll be darn. Again, if you just joined, I'm sipping on, I have been very stressed out lately and I've been sipping on this Get Relaxed Tea. I'm gonna reread it to you if you, if you haven't um, caught this. It has calming aromas of lavender and rose petals. Um, with each cup, a blissful blend of health-promoting organic rooibos laced with nerve-soothing chamomile and passion flower, along with stress-reducing, and I don't know how to pronounce this, it's like eleuthero root, helps you chill out, unbend, unwind, simply steep and breathe deep. I feel like this has helped. It's either that or you guys. <laughs> 
think it's a combination actually. This has been great for me. <laughs> I love hanging out with you guys. Um, okay, I'm gonna share this, Stacy. thank you. She said, Hot Tools is actually made by Helen of Troy. I think that's it, Stacy. I think it is a Hot Tools, which is why it looked exactly the same. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so if you order the Hot Tools from Amazon, it's the same thing. Yeah, I wish I could find it in one and a half inch barrel. If you can, that's the one I would recommend uh, getting. But um, I found, I think it was one and a quarter inch barrel or something like that. Um, Nancy says she uses CBD. I'm a baby. I I know that CBD isn't the same as as you know how how people would get high on marijuana, but I'm I'm just a total baby with it. I just like I can't I can't do it. Um, however, with my back pain, my daughter was able to get me some cream that has um, the CBD, I believe, to help the muscles because she had client. Um, she is a PA. She's a physician's assistant, and she sees her own. She has her kind of her own people practice if you will but anyway uh, some people said that it really helped them so she wanted me to try it i didn't really see and get any relief however maybe if i continue to use it um i know i know a lot of people swear by it nancy <laughs> I'm telling you, I am telling you, I feel like I need to use this entire thing and fill up a tub and steep and just go in it. I'm telling you, I know if it worked like that. Oh, dear. Oh, thank you. I am 55 years old and this year I'll be 56. But thank you. That is very, very sweet. Hopefully you're not like, oh, wow, I thought you were, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, you do look 56 or 55. I'm not, I'm not 56, guys. I'm 55. I'll be 56 way into October. Got a ways to go before I can hang my hat on 56. All right, guys. Um, Nady, she says she takes magnesium glyconate and it hasn't caused any intestinal problems. Her naturopath started her on that and she finds it so helpful. Thank you, Nadine. I will um, see if that is the kind that I get. I'll, I'll make sure it is. Um, here, let me put this up here. I love your channel. I'm so happy about that. What gave you the courage to choose blonde for many of your wig colors? I'm just not there yet. You know, I just think it's just my personality. It's my mindset just I jumped in with this with just open mind I was so excited my excitement overtook everything and I was so excited to do blonde you got to remember I am a cosmetologist I switched colors all the time I constantly changed styles colors all of it now it had been many years since I was in a, an actual working you know, cosmetologist by the time I started my wig journey. And by that time, I didn't even, you know, really do much with my hair too much at all. But I still, you know, that's just kind of in my mindset. So I have no problems with it. And I was so excited about blonde because I was never able to get the blonde that I wanted with my own hair. It, it just pulls very brassy. And because it's very fine, it I, I didn't want to take the chance of of lifting it too far before it would just get damaged. Um, so I was so excited to try different blondes and I still am and I love it. I love that I can be different blondes. And finally, you know, I, I just, that's part of what was so exciting for me. But I do like to every now and then dip my toe every now and then into maybe, you know, the brunette, different sort of warm colors every now and then not very often as you know but uh yeah my channel brenda is called jill lynn beauty therapy and um thank you for asking pam hi pam hello she said i wish my body would slow down to a run 
Oh boy, I'll try your tea. The CBD didn't help me and I'm HSP inside and out. Yeah, see the other thing I have to be careful with is I'm very sensitive when it comes to what I take. So therefore me being very sensitive, if there's going to be side effects, I generally get them um, or it'll just make me feel weird. And so I tend not to take anything. I mean, I'll, I'll really think twice even before I take Motrin. And I, so I don't even take that much because I have a very sensitive system and I just always have. So experimenting with things like CBD, I just am too afraid to do it. I know that's crazy stupid, but if there's anything weird that's gonna happen, it'll happen to me. So um, I tend to be careful with herbs and herb blends because I have had those sort of do weird things and, and make me feel anxious or different side effects. So, and even my doctor just said, you just need to be careful, be careful. And so, yeah, these are, I tend to like herbal teas, however, I tend to do that more than anything. I can't have black tea of any kind because I'm prone to, um, I gotta be careful of oxalates because of kidney stones. So I have to steer clear of any black teas. I do like green tea and herbal teas, but yeah. All right, guys, you know what? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This week, you're gonna see that video that you've already, you've already, if you tuned in in time, we've already talked about these different wig grip options that I'm just so excited about. But I'm gonna be dropping that video this week sometime. I'll be recording that soon. And I won't be doing a Friday Live, which is why we're doing this today, because my daughter's birthday, her 30th birthday is Friday. So we're gonna be, and she's spending the night, her and her husband won't be doing that. So you'll be seeing at least one other video this week, um, I'm thinking. So definitely take a, or be on the lookout for, for one other video. And if I get my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I hopefully will be recording something with those. So I'm super excited about those. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off for this one. Thank you again for hanging out. I'm going to be Rewatching, I want to write down your show suggestions, take a peek at some of those. And I will see you guys live next week, next Friday. We'll be right back on our regular Friday live schedule. Have a wonderful week ahead, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.